Hello, this is April, the artist behind Invoke Art Sense. Today I bring you the Teeny Weenie Challenge. And what is this challenge? I will be doing the challenge with a few other artists that I will link in the description. And I will also be reviewing and trying out a new product. And let's see what it is. Aren't they so pretty? These are the Himi, Himi gouache and Himi brush set. Uh, and I got them on Amazon last month and I'm just now trying them out. The case just feels so pretty, not feels so pretty. The case looks so pretty and but feels really good. And they also came with these brushes. And they are both reasonably priced. They are both from China, but that doesn't really bother me too much because they are this paint is pretty popular on YouTube and Amazon. And I'm sure that you've probably seen other YouTubers try this jelly gouache. It is gouache, but it's jelly. Like jello, I guess. It's like I've heard it has a creamier consistency and can layer better than the normal gouache. Like it won't pick up the bottom layers so much if you are familiar with gouache. So they come in different colors, and but I picked pink because I got the pink brushes that you can see here. They're a pretty pastel pink. The They had a mint color one, but the brushes were more money for the mint color ones. The same thing, but they charged more for different colors. But the pink one is the most popular one that I see. It's in this nice plastic case here. I paid $21.99 for this on Amazon. And this one I paid $16.75. So they were both a very, very good price. Not expensive at all. And I think a great value for my money. But we're going to see. Let's, so they, it comes in this nice plastic case. I mean the case alone <laughs> makes, me want, uh, m uh, makes it worthwhile. And when you open it, it also comes with a inside plastic palette. It's a little warped, if you can see in my camera there, the camera view, but it's sturdy and maybe it will not be a much of a problem. And there, there are 18 colors. They come in these little jello cups. They remind me of like these jello candies I used to get in the Korean store. And there uh, there are names on the, on here, but they're in Chinese or something and but Chinese names and numbers on each of these. And I know from other videos that these will be hard to open. Well, I'm going to find out. I'm going to open them right now. And I've heard good reports about this. Ooh, that just looks so yummy. That wasn't hard at all. I've heard that they can stay wet in this palette. Like normally, you know, gouache or acrylic would dry really fast on your palette, watercolor and stuff. But these will not dry out on you as long as you remember to close the pal palette. Ooh, that's a pretty turquoise color. I don't know, some of these numbers are doubled, like this was three and this is three, this is three, That or that's a two. So the numbers I don't think relates to anything. White, and I, know that there's two types of white, one for highlights and one for mixing. Question is, which is which? I wouldn't be able to tell from just looking at them. Maybe the consistency is different. Yummy, this one looks like pudding, like the pudding little uh, I don't remember what they were called, but when I was a kid, I used to eat pudding. They look just like this in a little round container. Uh, 
but you don't eat this. I saw many videos of YouTubers opening these and getting their hands messy, but I'm not having any problems opening these. They are just so easy to open. Wonder why that other uh, wonder why other uh, artists, you know, had these explode on when they opened them. Don't know. I'm having no issues. So easy, easy peasy. See, even this one, it almost like pushed out when I pulled it, but it went back down. No problem. Maybe they're not exploding on me because I let this sit, you know, in my you know room for about a month before I even decided to do this video. Maybe the key is waiting because in shipment, it'll get all pushed around and when you open it right away when you get it then I expect some explosions to happen they look so satisfying and they were really satisfying to open even this warp palette is awesome I prefer ceramic palettes honestly but you know this is really neat to have a palette that fits right inside the lid even this lid can be made a palette. So there are no names listed as you saw. They only have the Chinese names on the actual lids here, the plastic. They, they just list Chinese, but Amazon does list the colors. But I will write down the colors in the link or you can just look at the Amazon listing itself. I'm going to use this Strathmore Ready Cut Watercolor Paper that I just got. They, this was only $7 on Amazon. 5 by 7 I got 25 sheets and this is 100% cotton, acid free and archival. So what a deal. And they are really reasonably priced and it's 100% cotton. I don't think you can beat that but I haven't used it yet. I've never used hot press paper before but uh, I haven't gotten my cold press 5x7 yet and I'm going to be doing the teeny weeny challenge so I'm going to be taking this 5x7 and cutting it up even smaller to do a very small miniature painting probably more than one but we'll see uh, what I do the brush set comes with 10 brushes and they are a natural hog bristle and they were not expensive about at all and I, I've had I've seen bad reviews and good reviews and when you look at it this little case the case is actually nice it keeps it in um, storage neatly inside the, there's like these little things that you can keep in there or throw away there's various sizes one wide brush four fan brushes these fan brushes are why I bought this and they're so cute I bought them because they're cute too they're not the best quality but I think that they will be worth the uh, $16 I paid for this so they come with four fan brushes and they're, they, I don't think I ever seen a brush like this or ever had, I had, these are like flat brushes, but they're a little bit different. And then, okay, this was the wide brush for your washes and they have three filberts. Where are the filberts? This almost looks like a round, but it's a filbert. This one too, not the best shape filbert, but I think they are, they look still, as long as the, as long as the hairs don't fall out in the, in the paintings. One flat brush is included. This is a, the softest one in the bunch. The other ones are very rough and coarse feeling this one actually feels synthetic 
and there is one liner brush but it looks like a round brush they don't say like what they don't give them sizes on Amazon but all this information is on the listing and they are long handled except for the flat brush is long but I think that the color just makes me so motivated just to start painting I'm, I'm going to be using these maybe my other brushes that I already have but I just want to try these out too while I'm while I'm using this set might as well because it came it's the same company this is Hemi that's Hemi this is the hot press and you probably can't see the texture in the video but I don't know what kind you use but if you use cold press what why do you prefer cold press versus hot press please comment below and let me know because I really thought cold press was the best version but after seeing this maybe I'll change my mind after using it but I might go with hot press it there's you can see the texture you just can't feel it really when I swatch these I use paper castell pit pins to create that line in each of the swatch panels I wanted to see how opaque and translucent each of these colors were and they are opaque and translucent they are pretty good I think that from the full strength paint to diluted water like watercolors is not as smooth as Arteza gouache and the last two colors I swatched here were Arteza gouache paints but I think that this quality will make them easier to layer because of the creamy consistency these colors are not light fast like Arteza gouache but I don't think that's a deal breaker is up to your preference on what you want these are used for students in China for like their university classes and so I think that these are a good quality student grade paint and I would use them for finished works or sketchbook paintings but that's your choice I don't have problems with non light fast products because I use markers all the time. Markers are not light fast, as you should know. Even Copic markers, and they cost an arm and a leg. People still use them, make finished pieces off of them, and sell them. So, preference is your choice. But I think that they look really good and they feel really good makes me happy to use them Arteza gouache was also really good I use it too but uh, they don't layer as well as these colors I have used the uh, the Hemi gouache and I have made three paintings with them and they layer beautifully similar to watercolors is this is like gouache is like a opaque watercolor and uh, I really didn't have, I had an easier time making my paintings with this gouache versus Arteza gouache. Arteza gouache doesn't layer as well. So the creamy consistency of Jello gouache is very good. I like the results. This is 4x4, four four, and these two are 2.5x2.5. Two approximate this one I think is really 4x4 four four. but I will be doing three stylized figures or portraits on these three and I'm using coal race coal race red especially is good under watercolor and gouache but gouache is more opaque so it doesn't really matter but I think it's just better in my opinion. I decided to do my stylized portraits that I, my figurative work that I've been focusing on. And instead of unicorns, I did fairies because fairies are fun and cool. 
and they're just colorful and I think that well that's what I want to do and that's what I did I will be doing more unicorns in the future but today we're focusing on fairies and on the third one the third one is not a fairy could be a fairy but it could also be a mermaid the third one I created has mermaid kind of theme and colors and it's kind of what I was thinking about because mermaid is coming up pretty soon for May and the second one I did she's like uh, the smallest one and the hardest one well maybe the first was the hardest one because I was I had made a lot of mistakes but overall the smallest one because of size was a lot the the second one in this in the picture right now and I never really did this size painting before I mean I have a million canvases that are small but I never did anything with them and this first one I made so many mistakes I, I really didn't know what I first I was going for an unnatural look I wanted only to use magentas like pinks and purples and that just didn't work out I guess I just wasn't very really confident in that it would be like a monotone painting and it just didn't work out but that's okay I the beauty of gouache is like what Bob Ross says happy mistakes mistakes are happy this painting this painting went through an ugly face first and the hair was very muddy I think it was because of that yellow and some of the colors don't mix very well in this set or maybe it was just my mistake but with gouache you can just cover it up it's opaque and the beauty of this the creamy jello consistency you can layer a lot more than other standard gouache sets like Arteza gouache the dark layer dark colors underneath would have picked up and I would have had not as good as a result as this one and I use a lot of white to mix to get the pastel colors like most paints besides watercolor watercolor I would never use white only white gouache for highlights at the end but never white and I love how these mix and I think the reason why it became so muddy was because I used that yellow in the beginning I don't mix complementary colors sometimes I think I was just trying to like not touch the other the purple but it ended up you know being a mistake and sometimes when you mix complementary colors it can look good it doesn't you know have a muddy effect but in this case yes it did but she is my favorite out of all three of them please tell me below which one is your favorite and this one is the biggest one she's four by four inches and I created her to I wanted the purple and pink I didn't actually want her to have any like natural skin tone but her skin tone has more of a pink tone to it and the large brush I used here the Hemi brush I can get a lot of the details with this it wasn't a problem at all I have smaller brushes but I didn't have to reach for them the natural hog brushes here in this set the hairs don't fall out I didn't experience that and for $16 for 10 brushes I would have thought that the hairs would fall out and the quality would be crap but I am really happy with the brushes now I did buy very good brushes I think the I bought I bought black tulip brushes and stuff but I will hold off on using my high quality brushes with my high quality watercolor paints so with this lower student grade quality I don't want to use my expensive brushes for this second painting here it's my second favorite it was the easiest out of the three two maybe it's because she has a, a simpler pose just the three-quarter view 
and her eyes are wider. And she is the one that is a mermaid, but she could be a fairy, whatever you want her to be. And she has like the simplest color palette. The first one, I actually the first one was the only one I, I used a different brush. I used like this stippling stencil brush for the cherry blossom effect. But for all the all three of them, all for the three of them, these three paintings, I just used a few brushes. The first painting, maybe three, four different brushes, second one and third one, one or two. The the liner and the Filbert small one that looks like a liner was very useful. And I really love this gouache. Now the first one messed up on the colors, but that's okay. And the second one was even better because I knew what I wanted and you know sometimes you need to go through your mistakes first to you know get to know a uh, medium and practice. And these colors blend very good. They are highly pigmented because if you get them on your hands, you can't just wipe them off with your paper towel or something like that. You have to go wash your hands. So the pigments are really good. They are high quality, maybe not professional, but high quality pigments and paints. This last one, I had phone iPhone problems and I was having trouble transferring my videos to my computer iPhone drama. So I the last part of this I did not record. It was just very little. But you can see the final painting of this one at the end. But this one was the cutest one out of the three. First one is cute, but I think this one is cuter than the first one. Because she has light yellows and greens. And I don't know which one was harder. I would say the two and a half by two and a half inch size paintings were the hardest, you know, to get details, especially this last one, because she's got the smallest face. The nose was the hardest part to, like, get in that size. But if you make a mistake, keep on going. Mistakes won't stop you with gouache. Now in watercolor, you might have to start over if you make a serious mistake. You can't redo it. There's 18 colors in this set, but since you can mix so well, you don't need any more colors. Actually, I didn't use black at all because I don't like to use black. But all the other colors, I think they provided a good amount of colors and a good range of colors. The two whites they included was a gray idea because white is used so much in gouache and they both serve a purpose. One for highlights and one for mixing. And when these paints dry on the palette, they reactivate easier than the Arteza gouache. Because it, with Arteza gouache, I don't like using it dried on the palette. But with these, they work great. They, I can still get great colors, but you, the paint will be thicker, of course, and creamier if the paint is not dry. But it works really well. The company claims that these paints will stay wet in this case, and I think that is really true because each of these paintings took two hours each, except for the second one that took only an hour and a half. And these paints are ACMI certified, non-toxic, environmentally friendly. And the colors will not crack or, or crumble when the paint dries. So I think that if you want to try this, 
the $21 or $25 that it is now currently will be worth your while. So I am very, very, very happy with these three paintings and I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and see you next time in the next exciting video invokers. Goodbye everyone.